Well, when a major hurricane hits Louisiana, everyone knows the drill. You board your windows, you shelter in place, or get you and your family to higher ground. But what if your loved one is in a nursing home? Well, that's the scenario for so many in Louisiana, and they are often forced to trust the facilities to take care of them during a storm. Well, tonight, in a special report, Ariel Salk explores this scenario. He had a stroke. It was pretty major, and he's paralyzed on the left side. Mickey Terranova Ryan says everyone loves her brother Michael. He could talk to you for hours, and most of all, he loved to photograph New Orleans. He, um, yeah, he took a lot of photographs of major people in the, in the, in the music industry out of New Orleans. But when he suffered a stroke three years ago, he was forced to move into a nursing home. The only thing we could afford was a place like Maison Orleans. Terra Nova Ryan says they were not fond of the facility, but they were trying to make it work until yeah. Ida hit and changed uh, everything when the evacuation plan turned into a living nightmare. We were told that he was being brought to another facility in Independence. It was a warehouse. <laughs> a warehouse. The nursing home Michael entrusted his life with was one of the seven nursing homes owned by Bob Dean. Before Ida hit, those nursing home residents were evacuated to a warehouse. With 843 other people on a blow-up mattress on the floor. Survivors of the poor evacuation plan described a hellish environment, claiming a lack of food, toilets, and beds. Eventually, the generator failed. The water was coming down the walls. It had like five inches. And all he could think about was, I guess, wonder how it feels to drown. I mean, it's like the worst thing you can imagine. And several people died from the alleged gruesome conditions. They need to mandate something. They need to check every evacuation center that that any nursing home is claiming that's safe for evacuation. And State Senator Kirk Talbot agrees. How did this happen? How did we get to a point where, you know, who approved that evacuation plan to go to this facility, this building, no power, um, no air conditioning, not enough portalettes, not enough um, health care to be provided with these people. I mean, they just empty people in there without anybody knowing. Didn't somebody have to go look at that place? That is the question on a lot of people's minds. Because an evacuation plan to take these seniors was submitted to the Louisiana Department of Health. But who reviews the plan to make sure it's safe? The law requires they submit a plan, but who's looking at the plan to see if it's viable or not. Talbot is working on legislation that, if passed, would require the state fire marshal to check out each location for the future. I just hope we can get something passed where we can prevent this from happening again. Another major issue is power. Losing it can be uncomfortable for many, but for those living in a nursing home, the loss of power is life or death. Well, what we want to do is require nursing home facilities to have generators and backup power. This is not an uncommon practice. In 2019, Florida passed a rule mandating care facilities have backup power after 12 residents of the Hollywood Hills nursing home died when Hurricane Irma knocked out their power. Look, the suffering these people endured was appalling. And, you know, that should never, ever happen again in, in this day and age in America. Dean is facing countless lawsuits, including one filed by Tara Nova Ryan on behalf of her brother. But she wants the state to make real change so no one else must go through what her brother endured. Nothing makes me feel safe about it. You even you know, having to evacuate. Not much. Not after this. I don't trust anybody. I love Louisiana, but they dropped the ball on this. Ariel Salk, NBC Local 33 News.